Hello everyone, this is Manoj Pathak and today we are going to talk about one of the reports by World Meteorological Organization which suggests that the past seven years have been the hottest years on the run. So if we talk about 2021, it, was, it is tied with 2018 as being sixth hottest year in last seven years only and the, this is a serious concern because if we talk about the global warming phenomena this is at this time this temperature is 1.11 degree celsius more than the previous pre-industrial era temperatures and already the world is struggling with this global warming phenomena and this report is not anything which we were expecting okay so we'll look at some of the things related to it. The report says that this El Nino phenomena has, been estab has established itself for last two years. It means that the globe should see some cooling effect in the globe and is still 1.11 degrees Celsius higher than the pre-industrial temperatures. It is surprising, but World Meteorological Organization suggests that this La Nina phenomena has a little impact. It will not hamper with the overall warming of the Earth's surface. And it is a really bad, bad news for the world. Now we'll look at some more things. Like if we see this, the report also suggests that this trend will continue this trend will continue and will see more rising temperatures in the coming decades. It will keep increasing. And each decade since the 1980s has been more warmer, the report warns. So it is going to be a big challenge for us. And as a result of these rising temperature, we are seeing very unusual temperatures around the world. If you remember, during uh, the summers, we have seen that Canada was experiencing extreme heat waves and more than 140 people lost their lives. Also, the southwestern USA, the death value in California recorded a temperature of 54.4 degrees Celsius. That is very dangerous. And if we have to see the records, it seems that this was the first time since 1918 that something like that happened. So it's more than 100 years since this death valley in California had experienced temperatures more than 54 degrees Celsius. So it is very, very alarming. But the warming is not the only problem that the world is facing. The world is also struggling with some of the extreme rainfall events. For example, if we look at the rainfall recently in India, the Kerala was devastated by flash floods. Uttarakhand was affected by flash floods. So such extreme events are becoming a norm. And it was more surprising because some of the extremely cold areas of the world, like Greenland, some of the patches which had never seen any form of precipitation, experienced rainfall. That is more surprising. And this is not only limited to the rising temperatures or flood-like situations caused by the extreme rainfall. Some parts of the world are also struggling with drought-like situations. The rivers which had more water now have less water and this reduced supply is a threat to coastal communities, riverine people who are fully dependent on the rivers. And this is not only threatening the human life, this is also threatening the flora and fauna. And if this trend continues, we can see lot of losses when, when it comes to a species diversity. So this is an early warning for the world. And these extreme events coupled with some more tornadoes, some more cyclonic events in some of the areas which we did not see, we are 
facing billions of billions of losses because of these devastating events and if we talk about the developed countries probably they are in a condition to recover these losses in a shorter span of time but what about the least developed countries they don't have avenues they take loan they are already under debt they take uh, help of other countries and then they build some of the structure the infrastructure that is seen in these countries and if such extreme events will continue to devastate these their conditions will deteriorate and poor will become more poor that is a big challenge for the country so world meteorological organization has given some sort of a uh, warning to the world that things can get worse and if this current trend continues a temperature increase of more than 2 degree celsius can happen even before 2100 the paris deal had targeted to keep this temperature range between 1.5 degree celsius to 2 degree celsius in the to the pre industrial levels but the temperature is increasing fast and if this temperature keeps on increasing it will further melt the ice caps and if these ice caps melt we can expect that a lot of gases like methane will get emitted in the atmosphere and things will take a worsening trend this methane will further trap more heat and this cycle of global warming will hasten will fasten and which will lead to a great amount of losses so it is important that the countries of the world take responsibility and whatever targets they have fixed for themselves for the world they stick to it so that we can save this earth from the extreme uh conditions that it is going to experience and this experience is the earth may remain the earth may stay even with certain changes but life form will not remain there so the slogan that is save earth is properly uh, probably vague in nature now we have to change the slogan and we have to ask people to save humanity thank you